Hey, it's Bill Tierney here with William Ravis Real Estate. Uh, and today we're going to talk about some of the benefits of buying. I know, you know, we're kind of in this fast real estate market. Some people say, well, geez, I'll, you know, I'll stay in my rental, uh, wait for the market to correct, or you know, wait for interest rates to come down, or wait for my hair to grow back in. Uh, you never really just quite know what, what people are going to need to wait for. But um, there are a couple things that you're missing out on. You know, if you've been waiting for the last three years for the market to come down, well, you've missed you know, a, a significant move up, and you've left all that appreciation on the table. Um, so, you know, that's one reason just to get off of it. Uh, the second is, you know, there are some tax breaks. I'm not a tax accountant. If you, you know, go get the right advice for that. Um, but there are many tax breaks. You know, with being a homeowner, um, which as a renter you don't get. Um, you know, the other thing when you do go ahead and purchase, you have a mortgage. Um, if you have a fixed rate mortgage for 30 years, your mortgage payment, uh, principal and interest, will not change over time. Uh, the total payment will change because you've got uh, property taxes, which I can almost promise you won't go down. Uh, if, if they do, let me know how you did that without without getting an abatement. Um, <clears throat> and you know, and the your homeowners insurance, you know, which will probably go up periodically over time. So, um, you know, you, you do get the benefit. One of the benefits of buying is kind of fixing that cost in uh, for at least you know the lion's share of your thing, uh, where rents tend to. Um, drift higher year over year over year. Um, <clears throat> you know, talking about rents and mentioning rents, owning is generally tends to be cheaper than renting uh, for the last bunch of years. And that, you know, especially if you factor in the quality of, you know, of what you're going to own and how you're going to maintain it versus a rental that's, you know, um, the landlord is kind of maximizing out that kitchen and hasn't been upgraded since the Nixon administration. Um, <clears throat> and then lastly, you know, if you're an owner, you're free to do with the property as you want. So if you've got that kitchen, you know, that's been left over from the Nixon administration, it's time you get to pick it out. You get to pick out the cabinets. You get to pick out the countertops. It's yours. It's the way you want it. You're not settling for what somebody else picked out or, you know, what they're kind of leaving in their dumpy rental. Um, so, you know, the freedom, the tax breaks, uh, you know, the potential for appreciation, um, you know, these are some of the bigger pieces uh, of the equation. It, it's cheaper than rent. Um, there's a number of reasons um, to talk about that. If you're worried about down payments or um, this and that, talk to me. Uh, there's different ways to do certain things. There's still no zero down payment unless you get a VA loan and you have to have been in the service to do that. Um, but everything else after that, there are some low down payment products, you know, and I'd be glad to put you in touch with a mortgage guy who can help you do that. So if you're thinking of getting off the fence this year, let's let's have a chat. Um, do appreciate your watching my videos. If you like them, give me a like, uh, follow, or a subscribe. And uh, I do appreciate you watching it. Make it a good week, and we will talk next week. Thanks.